Hey, all those smart green zone calls. I had a lot of folks ask me to do a tutorial on the Owl Hooter. Uh, I'll do a short one here. Uh, that way folks know, um, you know, what I'm doing in the call and how to get the sounds out of the call. So, uh, first of all, call's got a single exhaust hole in the bottom. Um, it's a reed system. You hold your hand in an OK or a C, whatever you want to call it, around the bottom. Any of you that are goose callers um, uh, will know, you know, how to hold the call. So when you put air into the call, you don't puff your cheeks like you're blowing out a candle. Uh, there is one part of the series of notes, uh, the laugh that a lot of people are asking me how I'm getting the sound out of it, that you do puff your cheeks out, or I do. I'm not gonna say I'm, I know everything about blowing an out-hooter because there's a lot of people that are much better than I am at it. Um, but when you blow the initial notes, uh, this is the airflow it's gonna sound like. It's just gonna be <sighs> ah. All right, so back pressure is the key on this. So if you're blowing with your hands open, you're never gonna get the right sounds out of it. So the biggest thing to learn on it is the back pressure. It takes both hands to create the back pressure on it. Here's that same air. All right, so that's where you get that tonal quality or that hollow sound in it. So I'm gonna blow the first series of notes just like that. So you see the difference in the sound there. Uh, I'll blow the eight note. Uh, at the end of it, I'll put uh, the, the trill or whatever you want to call it at the end of the hoot. And it's just, and you get that from the back of your throat. You're not moving your tongue. If you're moving your tongue up and down, you're doing it incorrectly. Uh, that is a, a learning curve uh, on, on how to do it. Um, and it's not necessary. So it just sounds kind of cool. But here's the eight note. So that's that part of it. Um, the other part people really ask me about is, hey, I can get the eight notes, but I can't really get the laugh. All right. So the laugh. All right. And it's just a timing thing with your hand. And then the, the high pitch or the scream on it. All right, and this is kind of a feel thing. You'll figure out how much air to put in it uh, and, and what not or how to not overblow it. So I hope that helps some folks out. If you got any questions, give me a shout. Thanks a lot.